Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel Welcome to part 2 of our Clues vlog series Today is day 1 And look at this view Hold on, Let me fix it, let me fix it Look how nice it looks. So we ended up sleeping in today. We woke up around like 9.30ish and we ordered breakfast room service as part of our Fantastica package. It's not all breakfast though. It was just like, you can get coffee, orange juice, pastries, um, fruit platters, something like that. Just light because we did miss the breakfast window. So we just ate our breakfast out here and I got to drink my coffee out here while looking at this view. We did pay a little extra to get the thermal spa package so that we can go into the sauna, into some hot tubs that are more private. So we are actually gonna go ahead to that now, but before we go, we're gonna go to this kind of like guest service area to set up all of our specialty dining times for the rest of the week. So that way we have specific reservations of when we're gonna go eat. If not, we're not gonna be able to eat and use our specialty dining package that we purchased. Um, yesterday was a blast, but I'll catch you guys up on that later because we gotta go and do that before we run out of time. Let's go to the spa and explore a little bit more of the ship. This is the main room. Look how beautiful that is. So nice. This is where we need to go to like do our dinner reservations. So we're just waiting in line. Look at these light fixtures, y'all. The copper pots. Like, how cool is that? So we were back in the room. We had to use the bathroom, so we came back, but it took forever. It took like 45 minutes to almost an hour between waiting in line and actually signing up for the lunches and dinners. We did get the unlimited specialty dining package. We paid that extra so that so we were gonna do more reservations than you know than normal. So we did schedule a lunch and a dinner almost every single day at one of their five specialty restaurants. Tonight we're gonna be doing the hibachi one. The hibachi one is not 100 percent a part of the package. They do add like a 20% something, some service charge or whatever to go to this so we want to get it once we didn't schedule anything for lunch there was nothing available so we're just going to eat at the buffet uh we did go to the spa place but when you're at sea you have to make an appointment so that way it doesn't get like too crowded but on the days that we're scheduled to be somewhere that we're at port we can go whenever we want throughout the day so for today we scheduled our appointment and it's at one so we're going to eat first and then go to that but we also had to wait in line for that and then that took a while too so we haven't done anything fun today it's just all been you know just prep work so that way the rest of the week goes smoothly I wish they would let us do this all yesterday, but we did get to eat tacos yesterday, which I'll show you guys like a picture or a quick video. He yeah. said that these nachos are banging though. I already ate my tacos, but I'm gonna get one more. The guy was cool enough to just let us, he's like, oh, normally you need a reservation, but it's cool. Like everybody's all over the place. There was nobody there. There was probably like 10 other people there. So they were empty. The tacos were so good and the drinks were so good. So I think we booked the taco place like three times this week. Cause yeah, that's definitely up there already. And hopefully the other places compare. I'm going to give you guys a full cabin tour later on. I think our balcony neighbors are outside. So I don't want to talk to myself while they're next to it. Yeah, I'll give you guys a full tour and show you guys how we organized everything. Here are the elevators. It's all a mirror. The buffet right now is crazy. I mean, it's lunchtime. It's literally like 12 o'clock. So obviously we expected it to be this busy, but it's super busy. But look at our view, guys. Our lunch table is right. It's so beautiful. Like this view is like amazing. If you get seasick very easily, then you might not want to sit here because if I stare at it for too long, I will get sick. This view of all of it is just beautiful and I'm obsessed, like it's unreal. Let me show you what I got to eat. So of course I got pizza, which I hear is like, you know, you can't go wrong with the pizza, so I'm gonna try it out. I didn't like the cheese pizza from yesterday, but I'll give this another chance. I don't know what this is, is this pork? I don't know, but I got it because I want some meat, um, grilled fish, some Alfredo and shrimp pasta, um, fries, and then that's it. So this is what I'm gonna eat for right now, um, and then Tommy's gonna go and get us drinks. 
this is the ladies dressing room for the thermal area so i have to leave my stuff in here so i can't bring my phone I'm gonna get dressed and change into my bathing suit it is pouring rain now you guys look at this that's so crazy but we got back have dinner in a couple of hours we're gonna go back downstairs and just go hang out um i definitely did not pack enough leisure wear all right i know i said that said i was gonna wear this like day two day three with a tan but I'm gonna have to wear this right now because it's like the least dressiest thing that I have to wear that doesn't involve my jean shorts, but I have to wear my jean shorts tomorrow, so I can't wear them again today. And then Tommy's outfit. This to him, he said, wasn't dressy. I don't think so. I guess. It's casual. It's casual dressy though, so I have to match his casual dressy. Anyways, let's go back downstairs. Wait, we grabbed ourselves a drink, and now we're just walking, just exploring the boat since there's a lot of areas we haven't seen yet, which is this area. So we're just gonna keep going to the end. The back of the ship, that's so crazy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I don't think I can look at this. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Up there, there's another bar up there. Oh, that's where all this stuff is at, all that outdoor activity. Sorry, we found an adults only lounge. It's right next to like the kids club area, but it's like adult adults, like not young adults. And we're young adults right now, okay? So we're gonna keep looking. All right, we found where all the arcade stuff, that's the flight simulator, that's the basketball court. Looks like kids are playing right now. This is the sports bar. We brought a few dollar bills with us. So we're gonna go to like the penny slots <laughs> and see if we come out winning. This looks so nice though. It's so cool. Woo! We're betting one penny. Let's see if we win big, guys. <laughs> the last time we went like legit gambling and like slot machines, like officially though, is for my 21st birthday when we went to Las Vegas. And that was six years ago. We lost three dollars in about two minutes. So yeah, we're leaving. <laughs> It's very painful to lose money for no reason because that wasn't even fun. Like, at least if it was fun, like, David Buster's is fun because you're playing a game and you're playing for tickets. So you're spending money to get tickets to potentially win prizes. Here, you lose money, you lose money, that's it. Now you're broke. I don't get it. All right, we officially just sat down for the next 30 minutes. Look how beautiful this is. To wait here for our dinner. I wish somebody was playing music though. All right, dinner time at Tampanyaki. Folks, and choose your favorite type of music and dance the night away. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Taste. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> We're down here now. Just got done eating. Now they're gonna do a have, have a dance competition. We are back in the room really quick. So fun about the cruises. You can literally go out, do something, and then come back home for like 15, 20 minutes until the next thing is on. So the show that we're going to, it's like a musical about like old musical hits from Broadway, something like that. But that doesn't start until 10 o'clock. And it's only 8.30 now. So we're just back in the room hanging out for a little bit. And I am enjoying this beautiful view because I love it so much. Like this view is just everything this balcony just being able to come out here and just sit has been my little oasis for real but i'll probably get a few clips of us going to the broadway show and then i'm gonna end this video with a cabin tour which i will do in the morning before we pour in florida Go 
party. Good morning guys, it's the next day, already 10 o'clock. I woke up at seven o'clock, I ordered room service for some coffee and I just drank my coffee and chilled out there for an entire hour while Tommy was still sleeping. It was so nice and so relaxing. Literally all that I've been thinking about is just been sitting on that balcony drinking coffee in the morning, so I'm not missing it. Right after Tommy woke up, we went to the thermal area again and then we got in the sauna, we got in the hot tub and then we got in the cold room. I can't take my phone in there, but it is so relaxing. You guys, it feels so good. It's so worth that extra money. I have a whole breakdown like maybe in like the last video or an entirely separate video by itself on all the packages that we got the whole breakdown cost of everything if you're planning on going on a cruise yourself so you know at least the cost for this cruise ship but to end this video I wanted to give you guys a room tour Tommy's currently in the shower so I'll do that once he's out but I can show you the rest of the room so we are currently staying in room 9218 which is in the middle back ish so it's not like exactly in the middle of the boat but it's like right here so we do not feel as much movement in this area which is great i feel like our travel agent might have done that on purpose the travel agent that we use is tommy's uncle so he knew exactly like what to do for us with our package we got to pick our rooms and we have the perfect view from the balcony i want to flip you guys over and then show you every single section of this room okay so here's the door so as soon as you walk in this is the door to the bathroom. So Tommy's currently in there, so we'll do that last. And then this is where you insert your key card. We have ours together so that Tommy's the only one holding it. But when you put your key card in, it turns on the electricity of the room. And then we can control the AC in here. You get a full size mirror right here, which is nice. So then this is like the little tiny hallway. It's not that big. Come this way, they give you an ice bucket with two glasses. So then here is the big mirror that is above this little area here. This is just extra seating, which is nice for when you're sitting on the couch to put your stuff on, to use as a table too. Uh, this is the mini bar. We don't have access to the mini bar. We've kept the counters pretty clear and I'll show you how we've organized everything. One thing I didn't know is that this is actually a drawer and there is a blow dryer in here. So you don't have to bring a blow dryer. And then there's two regular outlets, but there is no outlets next to the bed. So maybe pack an extension cord. So this is one of the excursions that we're doing. We're doing snorkeling once we get to Ocean Key. And this is the second excursion that we're doing, which is what we're doing today when we go kayaking in Manatee Cove. And then every night they give you the daily planner for the next day. So this is today's daily planner. I've gone through it already, but you can also see it on the app, which is nice. And you can add it to your calendar, which makes it super convenient. Let's move on this way. On the other side here, we have a couch, and I don't know if this couch is... Nope, this one isn't. Okay, so we didn't get one that has a pull-out couch. This is just a regular couch. And then these are actually our beach towels that they give us, and we have to bring them back. The light has, like, three different settings. So we have off, that one, and then all of them, and then back to off. So let's make our way over here to our bed. They have one soft pillow and one hard pillow on each side, which I love it. So far, we've been sleeping pretty good. The mattress has been comfy. And then let's make our way over here to my favorite part of the entire room. There are two curtains, so you can get it super, super dark in here. Let me show you. And, yep, nice. And then we push. So let's step onto the deck. And here is the beautiful, beautiful view of the ocean. Look at this, you guys. So we are on the ninth floor. They provided us with two chairs and a little ottoman stool table situation. Spacious, it fits us both really comfortable. But if you have someone that is next to you, you can have them unclip this and you can connect the two balconies. I'm gonna leave this open because yeah i just want to enjoy this every chance that i get you know so let's come back in here so this is our closet if you go this way um so there's only these two drawers and then all of these cubbies we have been using the safe which is nice we just created our own code it was super easy down here i have a couple of my clothes that i've already worn covers like things that don't really need to be hung i put them down there tommy's underwear and socks and bathing suits are in here my underwear socks bathing suits are in here tommy's pants to all of tommy's shirts um, and then we just put like the miscellaneous items up here. So I hung up all of our clothes that needed to be hung since we don't have access to an iron. Just wanted to give everything plenty of time to strain itself out. And then I put our suitcases in here. So that way they're out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. All right, time is at the shower so I can show you guys the bathroom now. I did do a quick outfit change because I want my bathing suit dry by the time we go to our next excursion. But here is the bathroom. 
if you see my pack with me video you know that i packed this shoe organizer let me tell you this thing is great because instead of having our shoes thrown everywhere or trying to make them organized in the bottom of the closet keeping them in our luggage we have them all out there's my makeup this is like the everyday essential stuff Tommy's little bag, curling iron, just like having everything on here. Keeps our cabin super clean and I definitely recommend it. I didn't think it was gonna fit because this door is so small, but no, it fits just fine. Let's go in here. It is a little steamy because he just took a hot shower. That's one thing they have going for them is their water is super, super hot. Like I can't even do the hottest <laughs> and that says a lot. Even though the bathroom's small, it's modern, it's sleek, it's very comfortable. Organize some of our stuff in here. And then we have more of our essentials inside of these little things. And this thing opens right here. And this is where the trash is. And you can store more stuff down there. And then here's the shower. We organized a couple of our essentials on here. You can take out the shower head, which is nice. There is also a clothing line. So you can hang your wet clothes on the clothing line and just have them drip in here. All right, well, that's it for our room tour. We landed in Port Canaveral in a couple of hours and we're gonna go to sushi for lunch. Stay tuned for that video. As always, I appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.